Yuk. Yeah, I've got the two. I've got uh, the DK, which has been my main since Wrath. I was a rogue before that, but then I wanted to try Death Knight, and then I just loved it, so I just stuck with the Death Knight. My rogue's only 90. I had a max of off when I played for a good time. And nothing. And then uh, I've got the Monk, because when I bought Battle for Azeroth, I got the free boost to 110 or a hundred or whatever it was, and then I just leveled him up the extra levels. I can't do much either right now. I need to work on my gear. But I also don't have the time to raid, so I'd just be doing LFR raids anyway. It's pretty much I'm only playing on the weekends. I usually hop on for like maybe a half hour, an hour after work, and then other than that, I'm just playing on weekends. I gotta do all my pathfinders because I played like near the end of MOP I started playing again because I quit like at the start of Cataclysm then I didn't play till near the end of MOP and then uh, right before Warlords of Draenor came out I pre-ordered it and I'm like okay I'm gonna quit for a month or two and then come back and play Warlords literally didn't play Warlords didn't play Legion then came back and battled for Azeroth <laughs> Take it out. Oh, it's probably in the portal room now, is it? In the portal room, or did they just remove it? Oh, okay, sounds good. Thanks, man. Go talk to that guy. And I'm flying into a banner. That's J Forest. to victory. We no longer hide. Portal supervisor. Right? I know I can oh, count on you. Glad you're doing business with you. What do you need? Strength. Just take the zeppelin, I guess. Over to take the zeppelin to Stranglethorn, and then uh, just fly over. Just 
Yeah, I guess they must have took the portal out. Oh, wait, is that the... Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I tried talking to him and, uh... It didn't give me any option for it, so... Maybe you have to do a quest for it or something. You know what I'd really like them to, just, to see them add is a mount that has bag space on it. <laughs> that would be really cool. Like, I feel like this guy should have had it. Like, it was a little stuff to store, like, store stuff back here. Maybe it's the terminal stuff, but... Maybe that's in the next, like, uh, vendor mount can be, you can have, like, access to your bank, maybe. I don't know. Oh, weird. Oh, are you? Oh, you're way more geared than I am. I'm not even starting that fight. <laughs> You got a flight guy. Oh, motherfucker. I might as well do the Zell Grub right while I'm here. On, uh, so I actually got hacked, like, in... It was either Wrath or Cataclysm. And then the person that hacked me, I'm guessing, was a gold farmer. Because when I got my account back, I had almost 100,000 gold. Which at the time was a ton of gold. And they... I used to be uh, blacksmithing and mining, and they... They dropped blacksmithing and got herbalism. And then, uh, since then, I've just, I've kept those two. So then whenever I quest, I just p pick and do herbs and stuff. Hey, this is payback for what you're I'm out of range. Mine, John. I need to get closer. Yeah, take it there. That's payback for what the Alliance did to my town. Killed my flight path guy. So then, yeah, now I just kind of farm gold as I play. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of like actually going out and farming gold. That's boring as hell. And it's too time consuming. Like if you think about it <clears throat> from like an opportunity cost perspective, unless you get like really lucky on your drops, it's way more worth it just to buy the WoW tokens. Cause like it's like X, X amount of hours to uh, play the game. Six like say you needed like uh, 200,000 gold. That might take you Four or five hours to farm, or just buy a WoW token, which is like 
I guess it depends on what you make an hour, but for the average person, like an hour or two of work. So it's just, it's, yeah. If you can afford it, then it's just way better to just buy those. Drops the mount, right? Yeah, and then her. Yeah, okay. So no raptor. She's over here. Yep. Yeah, like you can get really lucky with drops and then you you know, you can maybe make a million gold in a couple hours. But you have to get really lucky and you're not gonna be like consistently that lucky, you know what I mean? So it's Yeah. It's kind of a pain. <laughs> Yeah, like, you can get lucky on there, too. Like, I got actually, my uh, Blue Drake, I got off the Black Market Auction House for 20,000 gold. But I think, one, that's because it's not a mount that's exclusive there. Like, there's some mounts that they took out of the game otherwise, so you can only get them there, so they're always near cap. And two, the Blue Drake's been out since Wrath, so a lot of people have farmed it by now. And three, this was like the first or second week of BFA, so I don't think anyone knew where the black market, or many people knew where the black market auction house was. That's oh, okay. Oh, what do you got? What's that? Oh, deep sea search fish. I think that was more of just luck of sniping it at the right time than anything. But like anytime I see something in there that's like actually like a like the core hound was in there one time. And it went for like when I, I stopped following it, it was already at like eight million gold. Oh, I know, neither did I. I have the achievement for it. Where is it? Uh, raids. It's in here somewhere. Yeah. 
the old Zolgar achievement and Zolomon and Ani, but I didn't far. Well, I didn't even. Uh, I wasn't even high enough level to do uh, Zolomon when it was still able to get the bear mount because they took that out before they even took the raid out. But uh, yeah, I, did, I should have farmed ZG more to get the old mounts because now I have to buy them from the auction house. And one, you got to get lucky enough to have them pop up and then have like the cap gold to buy them. Oh yeah, I forgot about that quest. Swamp of Sorrow is probably the closest place, eh? Just as well, just to fly from here. Yeah, me neither. I did it maybe a handful of times because back then there used to be this uh, guy on my server that would uh, always do uh, classic raids and Burning Crusade raids, and like you just pug them through the trade chat. So I did it a couple times, but I never ended up, like, getting them out or anything. I don't even think one dropped. Gold cars in. Turn to Karazan here now too, and it's not the one I wanted to do. I guess I'm gonna get up here, don't I? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know about them. Uh, I'm not revered apparently. Sky Farm. Um, I like the new EOE. Go do the mists for once. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do EOE and I'll do the mists for the very ones. Like the 
Communists, world bosses. Oh, this thing is dying. Something has spooked one of the Brutus uh, Oh, if it's time to do a panic. Oh, this chaos is the last. I could actually do that too. And probably, uh. I think Time Walk is on right now, isn't it? Yeah. I should probably do that, but I keep not doing that. So much content in this game, so little time. And I'm down the ship. Dalaron's in here. <laughs> Hated the rep grind for these things. The nether race. Oh god, it was so annoying. Says mounts I can do. Um, let's see, I've done all the Crusades ones. I can just run Strath over and over again. Try and get Death Tracker's reins. Uh, I already did a Blue Pro Drake run. I could do Mimiron and Invincible. So those are. I don't know if you can skip in those though. I haven't done all of our ICC in so long. Oh, I can do Vortex Pinnacle for North Drake, Stone Core. I think you can do Stone Core on regular too, can you? That's a ton. What's the drop rate on that? Uh, check that real quick. Next time I level an ult, I might just run them through that over and over again as to level them. Point zero four percent drop rate according to Wowhead. Dang. No point so like point zero four, not zero point four. Like as in like zero point zero four, so like a one in what's that like one in two thousand, one in three thousand, something like that, one twenty five hundred roughly. So you actually got pretty, yeah, you were pretty close to what it uh, 
Sad, I guess. Got yours a little early. <laughs> okay, well, that's gonna be a pain. I guess it kind of makes sense, though, because, like... Back then, that was, like, the only mount from a dungeon, so it was, like, crazy rare, but still. That's insane. That's what Wowhide says, but like that, they're also not the most accurate. No, this one is uh, Eye of Eternity, like um, Mali Ghost. So I'm gonna do Mali Ghost, and then I'm gonna head to uh, the World Bosses after. Do the uh, Miss Pandaria. Oh, yeah, I know. Apparently. The drop rate, yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, Wowhead has three drops out of 7,057 kills recorded, which is roughly a 0.04%. God dang. Death Charger should be in here somewhere. Said it. Doesn't matter. Oh wait, this doesn't matter what level I do this on. Okay, no, he drops both. Okay, we're good. My patience has reached its limit. I will be rid of you. Target. Oh, I need to uh, hop on these, I guess. It's too far away. Oh, got to nine the Scion. <laughs> 